Question number two, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to, is to the Minister of Finance and asks what reports has he received on real after tax wages rising in New Zealand? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, average after tax wages have increased 33 per cent, while consumer prices have increased only 14 per cent since December 2008. Uh, this compares with the period between 1999 and 2008, where New Zealanders' real after-tax earnings improved by just 5 per cent over that entire period. Furthermore, Mr Speaker, from April 1 next year, Kiwis will benefit from the $2 billion family incomes package in Budget 2017, which increases after-tax pay and provides additional income-related support. The Government's strong economic plan is helping New Zealanders get ahead whether it's helping people raise their kids or saving for a house. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jonathan Young. How else will the family incomes package benefit New Zealand families? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, the four elements of the family incomes package in the budget 2017, when taken together, are expected to reduce the number of children living in families receiving less than half of the median income by around 50,000 or almost one third. That's just in one package. It is truly hard to believe that the largest opposition party voted against the family incomes package. This year's budget builds on budget 2015's $790 million package to reduce hardship amongst children in New Zealand's poorest families by, amongst other things, boosting the main benefit rates for families with children by $25 a week, Order. the first increase in 40 years. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jonathan Young. How, how has the minimum wage increased in recent years compared to inflation? Uh, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, since 2008, the minimum wage has increased from $12 per hour to $15.75 per hour, which for a full-time worker on the minimum wage means their annual income has increased 31 per cent from just over $25,000 a year to $32,850 a year currently. This is a real increase in the take-home pay of minimum wage workers because, again, inflation has been only 14 per cent over this period compared to the increase of 31 per cent. In addition, Mr Speaker, the economy is currently adding 10,000 new jobs a month, with New Zealand recording the highest employment rate in our history amongst adults and the second highest employment rate in the whole of the OECD. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jonathan Young. Uh, what other reports has the Minister seen on wages and employment conditions in New Zealand? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I saw a report just before coming down to the House today which called for improvements to wages and conditions, and it claimed a small number of bad employers were undercutting good employers. It also called for more labour inspectors. I agree with some of the concerns in the report. In fact, I've seen recent examples of a bad employer taking advantage of foreign workers, exploiting them by housing them in substandard conditions, playing well below market wages order, order, and providing... Order, order, no, order. That question, as I now listen to the answer, conflicts quite seriously with 195, uh, 1976. That question is designed for no other purpose than to attack the opposition. The Honourable Stephen Joyce... Oh, just, um, Mr Speaker, I do think it's an important issue. Uh, and, and in fact, I, hope, I hope the Minister is not attempting to argue with me when I've just given a ruling. That would be very serious. I could, I could get exceptionally grumpy. Further supplementaries? <coughs> then question number three, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the...